incredible skills, knowledge, as well as resources. He joins us here in studio to tell us more about this great initiative. Gabelo, a very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Gabelo, tell us all about this show. What, what does it entail? We understand it's on SABC One. Yes. Has it started airing? Give us all the juicy details. Yeah, so this past th Thursday was episode two. Uh, it airs on SABC One uh, weekly, 20 past six. And then the repeats are on Sunday at 20 past 12. Uh, a fantastic project that I just felt I needed to be a part of, especially since, you know, I started an NGO with Danny K back in 2007. You know, we build primary, we build libraries across primary schools uh, in our country. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, when this show came about, when I was appro approached by Iwisa Number no. 1, uh, I just thought it, it, it speaks to who I am. You know, I'm a big advocate for active citizenship, yeah. you know. And uh, I, I really believe our people need to be encouraged to say they need to, they need to, you know, take, uh, uh, um, they need to take responsibility um, for their own communities. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, issues like service deliveries, ser service delivery, uh, are co uh, you know, it's a contentious yeah, issue. Yeah. So if Abant Bazoma, Bamela Usizo, you know, it might take forever. So I'm basically saying to them, guys, Roll up your sleeves. Yeah. You can't say you don't know where to help. You can go to any uh, lokshin. There's always something to do. So we're going to the community and highlighting those people who've kind of, you know, uh, saw it fit to get involved yeah. in their communities. And we're going in there to assist them because we also understand that you know, when people take it upon take it upon themselves to help their communities, Banok Shotang is in Desi few. Yeah. So we go in there, give them a high five, give them media exposure, and then you know, uh, we, we we help them with whatever they need to further their cause. Mm. For example, we are helping a young gentleman in Clip Down, um, who c has provided like a home for kids an after-school program so that kids, when they come back from school, they don't get involved with, you know, what's going on in Lokshini. The streets, there's yeah. a place to do homework, there's a place to do sports, there's extramural activities. And all he needed was solar panel batteries and generators so that, that. when electricity runs out, <laughs> these kids can still do homework. Imagine yeah, that. So we went in there, uh, gave him a high five, gave him the solar panel batteries. And, you know, we've been going around the country um, you know, you know, uh, supporting and thanking these individuals, and, mm -hmm. and you know, I also want to speak to those guys at home who are under the sound of my voice to say, you guys can also get started <laughs> wherever you are. You know, stop waiting for government. These people are working independent of government. Yeah, yeah. You know, they've written to government, and for whatever reason, government hasn't come through in some instances. You yeah. know. But it's not stopping these people. Yeah, well, because if you wait, you might wait forever. Come so, look, yeah. look, let's talk about that. I mean, you touch on a very uh, serious and important point here. Yeah? I mean, skills shortage as well as development when it comes to, uh, uh, you know, the township youth is, is a very serious problem that mm -hmm. we have in this country. Yet unemployment is also on the rise. Mm -hmm. Now, how important is a project like this in, in, in trying to aid and try and fill that middle gap where people can, can try and become young entrepreneurs? I think, you know, people kind of underestimate themselves, yeah. you know, and I think um, you ask any young person, you know, they immediately want to start earning a salary above my 15 to 25,000 off the bat. Yeah, and you buy know, big And cars. not willing to pay, <laughs> pay the school fees, you know. Yeah. So this project is basically to say, you know what, start where you are. Mm -hmm. And trust you me, like this lady we were helping at Mbisa, you know, she started... Uh, kids were coming home from school. She could see that these kids are, are hungry. There's no way they're going to be doing homework. And she started like a feeding scheme by oh, herself. Wow. Mm -hmm. And one, one point that also stood out, one thing that also stood out for me was that all these people, except one, were under the age of 30. Imagine that. You know, right? these are all young kids yeah. uh, taking it upon themselves to help the community. So this kid uh, started small and we heard about her. Hence, we went to go... Uh, help her out so yeah. what i'm basically saying is guys start small wherever you are and i really believe that you know when you start 
people are watching and help will come. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And speaking of help, uh, Gabelo, I mean, how does one then uh, get in touch with the, with the project that you're currently busy with? Do you have to identify those people that have written to you or you do it uh, on your own? You just walk around or drive around the township <laughs> and identify uh, the people or areas no, that need obviously, help? Yeah, there's, there's a team, you know. Okay. There's, 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 a, there's a big team and uh, I guess the, 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 the touch point that we have currently is if people can, you know, um, you know, I mean, we're in the advent of social media. Yeah. So, you know, if people can just uh, tweet us at iwisa underscore number mm, one okay. and let us know where you're at and what you need. And we're not promising to come tomorrow, <laughs> but because we vet, you know, we vet different people around the country and we see which ones are, are, are the easiest to help, really. Okay. Because uh, there's a lot of work that needs to be done in this country. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, as hard it, as it is, for me to say that you know you can't help everybody all at once but at Sad least we, 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 we're on the road to doing something. Kamala, how many episodes are going to be on the show and how does uh, an episode then work? Do you still have to go find uh, the person that you're going to be dealing with in that particular episode or how does no, it work? No, so basically we've researched before. Okay. So by the time we come to the community, we've researched the person, mm -hmm. we know exactly what they're doing, we know exactly what their needs mm -hmm. are and then going into the community is just a formality to shoot so that we can give these people ah. the airtime on television so we know who these individuals individuals are mm -hmm. so like i said it airs on on, on thursday sabc 1 20 past 6 and the repeat is on sunday 20 past 12. Mm -hmm. yeah. Gabelo, i mean uh, with such projects in in in, in the advent of uh, our struggling economy mm -hmm. we need entrepreneurs to, yes. to to be bringing out uh, new ways of, of of creating employment yes how do we then encourage young people to, like you were saying when we started this interview, mm -hmm. do not wait for government to do something because it might take forever? Sure. Like I said, you know, yeah. you don't have to walk 10 kilometers before. An entrepreneur is somebody who sees a problem and offers a solution. That's true. So there's many <laughs> solutions that need to be provided for in our communities. It's yeah. not hard to tell. Mm -hmm. So look around where you're at. You know, what and does do your something. Community what does need? your community mm. need? You know, and um, it, it, it really doesn't require much. You know, but I think people have the end goal in mind rather than it. Let me start where I'm at now. Uh -huh. You know, and that's the spirit we're trying to encourage. And let me tell you, it might sound difficult, but there's a million and one other people in our country doing it right now. Yeah. Some under the radar that we, 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 we've never even heard of. And I'd just like to applaud them and say, please carry on because this country needs people like you. Absolutely. Mm. Gabelo, mm. How, how has the impact been like, uh, particularly to the people that you've worked with? Is there, is there going to be a, a, a way that you're going to gauge their success long after you've touched their lives to check if they're still on track and they, they're succeeding? Look, I have no doubt that these individuals uh, will carry on with, we, without me, you You've know, given them all them the on. relevant I promise tools. you, they are so passionate. <laughs> whether I, whether we came or not, would not have determined whether they carry on mm. or not. This is how passionate these mm. people are. Uh, but I've undertaken uh, one. Uh, myself and my team have undertaken one of the individuals that we're going to work a journey with. Mm -hmm. um, he's got a very interesting solution. So he helps people in his community set up businesses. So he helps them with business plans. He helps them with networking solutions. So mm -hmm. people who want to start businesses in his community, he offers like a 360 solution for them. And that's his business. Wow, that's very absolutely clever. very, very mm. amazing. Kabalo, yeah. in, in case people just want uh, to get in touch with you, in case they want to work with you in the near future, mm -hmm. or, or maybe get assistance from the past episodes that they have seen, sure. uh, maybe in the same line of work that they might need advice, uh, that you might have uh, the skills to advise them on. Look, I mean, we, like I said, we're in the adv advent of social media. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm on Facebook, Kabelo Mabalani, Instagram, Kabelo Mabalani, so Twitter, they can inbox Kabelo you. Mabalani, they can inbox <laughs> me. We're already getting, you know, thousands of uh, 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 tweets because people see the show and say, Hey, Faith, Mina, I'm saying Pumalanga, shot on my computer, I see, it's Mina, I'm shot on my computer, you know, so we've opened Pandora's box. Wow. And uh, Is there I, a part I'm, two I'm then? Trusting, I'm trusting that there will be a part two and we can help more people.
Gabel, thank you so much uh, you. for being with us and uh, best of luck with that great initiative. That is Gabel Omabalani in studio with us and he's talking to us about his new show on SABC One. Do catch it those times and dates again, Gabel? Uh, the name of the show, Iwisa Number One Legends, uh, is on Thursdays 20 past 6, SABC One and the repeats are on Sundays at 20 past 12. SABC One, Mzansa for sure. We're going to take a quick ad break. We're going to be back after that.